Hey, what is up guys and welcome back for a new build for Strangers of Paradise. It's been a while since I made a build for this game, but I have been playing the game quite consistently. This build is totally revolved around a super powerful weapon which is capable of one-shotting enemies and even bosses with its destructive ability. It can clear entire rooms with such ease and can even break bosses in a single attack. It can be difficult to pull off and there's a bit of setup required, but once you have all your abilities lined up, it can clear missions with such ease. If you guys enjoyed the video, a like would be really appreciated. If you would like to see more of my builds and guides, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. With that, let's get right into the build. The weapon we are going for is the Great Swords, and in particular, the Hero's Great Sword, the Legion's Man's Sword, or the Excalibur. You can go for any one of these three swords. These weapons are all super powerful because they come with the weapon ability Spiritual Sword. This ability is totally insane. You can clear an entire wave of enemies with just one hit. You can even one-shot bosses with this ability. Also, the ability has such great range. The best place to find for this weapon is the Flying Fortress. Go after the 5-headed dragon and you should be able to get one of these to drop from him. So, for the jobs we want to use for this build is the Dark Knight as our main and the Berserker as our secondary. The Dark Knight will be our main damage dealer and the Berserker will be used to get our buffs and effects. The secondary job is just as important as the main and we'll go over that in just a bit. Let's now have a look at all the gear and job affinities you will need for this build. For your primary job which is the Dark Knight, the job affinities you will need for this is basically the Dark Knight and the Berserker. Anything extra you get with your artifacts will just be a bonus. Firstly you will need Dark Knight to reach 400% so you can get access to Last Resort and the Flames of Rebellion. These two abilities will have you deal more damage when enemies target you as well as having your near death effects be active all the time. Since the Dark Knight is focused on getting the big damage boosts while near death, having those effects active all the time is a huge bonus. Also, Soul Eater, which is your job ability, will drain your health for a big damage boost and will also slowly drain your MP as well. The health drain is larger the stronger your attack will be. If you are near death and if you have unlocked Soul Eater Mastery, you will not have to use MP to use Soul Eater. So that way you can have your damage boost be active all the time. Next, we would want our Berserker to be at 250% so we can have Savage Awakening. Since our near-death effects will be active all the time, we will get the effects of Shell and Protect to allow us to tank a good amount of damage. Those are the only two job affinities you will need for this build. Try to get those job affinities on the Abyss Armor Set, especially the Abyss Mask, the Abyss Gauntlets and the Abyss Caress. The reason why you would want these three pieces as they come with the special ability of near-death effects. If you have a good number of resources in which you can change some of these special effects on your gear, Add in any sort of break damage dealt, as you won't need any other damage bonuses as you will be hitting the max 10,000 damage with your abilities anyways. Break damage is not capped, so add in as much break damage as you can. For the combo abilities, the spiritual sword is what we want to use, as it is the reason why we are using this sword. It costs 3 bars of MP to use, so it is very costly. If you are finding it hard to pull off, add in a few action ability costs on your gear, that way you will use less MP to pull off the move. Now for the command abilities. The most important ability is the blood weapon. You cannot do this build without this ability. You can see here why it is so important. If you have your soul leader active and you use a spiritual sword, it will use up all your health. The spiritual sword hits so hard and the health drain on your soul leader ability is based on how strong the attack is. You will have such little amount of health after performing this move. The blood weapon is really important to use throughout your missions and is the only thing that will keep you alive. Although, if you are just farming bosses or just heading into a boss fight, you may not even need it, as you cannot actually die from having Soul Eater active. And since you do so much damage, you don't really need the healing. So if needed, you can swap it out for the Summon Tachi to increase your damage even further. That is the ability I use to one-shot the bosses. Mighty Strikes are also great to use as it will give us bonus damage by making all attacks be weakness attacks. Lunatic is actually pretty important. Without this, your attacks and ability will be super slow to use. Great Swords are already pretty slow, so that is quite useful to have active. Now let's have a look at our secondary job. This job is mostly used to get your buffs, such as activating your command abilities and using your action ability Berserk for increased damage and to avoid being staggered. For that, there are three job affinities you will need for this. The Void Knight, the White Mage and the Samurai. You need to reach 400% on your Void Knight to get access to the power of the Void. This is actually really important as it will reduce the cost of your command abilities by quite a bit. What will usually cost you 3 bars of MP to use all your 3 command abilities will now only cost you around 2 bars and a little bit. So it is quite important to get this. 
the white mage to 120% to increase the buff durations, and finally the samurai to 250% for the power and perseverance. It'll increase the damage whenever you perform a chain cancel. To perform a chain cancel, it can be done by using your action ability and then quickly changing your class. You will know if you did it right if you see the sword icon here. That is basically all you need for a secondary job. What weapons and armor you use to get those affinities really doesn't matter as long as you get those three to the percentage needed. Here's a look at the job master points are used for the Dark Knight. That is it for the build guys, the real highlight of this build is the sword. The weapon is totally overpowered and it can really be hard to use at first. The ability is just so beautiful to use which is why I made a full build around it. Even though it has 3 bars of MP to use, it's solely worth it when you can constantly pull it off. It can destroy a whole room of enemies in just one swipe. Although the ability is pretty slow so make sure you try and have lunatic active at all times. Otherwise enemies can kill you before your move even hits them. The bosses will not even get a chance to do anything. Some of the bosses who have multiple break spots, such as the scorpion mech or even the zombie dragon, since the ability hits in such a wide area, you can hit every single break point at once. Hope you guys enjoyed the build. This is probably one of my most favorite weapons in the game. What do you guys think? Have you guys tried this great sword before? Comment down below. I would love to hear from you all. I will catch you all next time.